And speaking of things sliding, there were some slides uh, that were run over at the University of California in San Diego. And Charlie Kirk of Tor- Turning Point USA uh, reported on this, and he's got a really great group, and they focus a lot, although not completely, on colleges and the learning environment and the environment of controlling thought and controlling speech on college campuses and things like that. But what he wanted to bring us and what he did bring us was a picture of a slide where they're teaching the children, essentially the young adults at UC San Diego, that there are many parallels between a fetus, so a human baby that hasn't been born yet, and a cancer. And it literally is a slide comparing the two, and it says the fetus. The fetus is a legitimate parasite. It rapidly grows. It invades the mother, manipulates the immunity of the mother, reshapes her blood vessels, and essentially is very similar to a cancer. And I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, I wonder if that's how most mothers feel when they learn they're pregnant. I wonder if they learn that they're pregnant and they think, oh, it's like I got a cancer. I mean, are, isn't becoming pregnant and having a child? Now, this is something, Pat, you've experienced. I've never experienced it. I haven't had any children that, that I'm aware of, and I'm pretty sure I'd know about it because, you know, to be child support and things to pay. But, I mean, can you even imagine the reaction to, hey, honey, we're pregnant, being like, oh, you've got this horrible parasite. we got to get a medicine to get you well again. We've got to get that thing out of you. This it's, was a class? This is a class that they're teaching <laughs> college students. So, I mean, you talk about indoctrination. I mean, these are young folks. Uh, They're going to listen to a bunch of authority figures. They're professors that everybody's telling them are going to tell them how to live their lives and, you know, how to do everything in life that they want to do. And here they are being taught that the fetus, an unborn human child, is a parasite. A parasite. Like it's something from outside the organism that comes in. And establishes itself and is and is living off the host like like a vampire sucking blood off the host. That is a horrendous comparison. It's a horrendous comparison. It is absolutely completely wrong. This is a child. This is a product of what amounts to a miracle. The fact that two. I mean, if if you really think about the sexual process, and I'm not talking about the act of sexual intercourse, I'm talking about the mixing, the 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 unraveling of the DNA of the two different adults, and then the mixing together of the two. I mean, it's really a miracle. It's fascinating that it even occurs. One even wonders how such a complicated system of reproduction could evolve because the entire system's got to work for it to work, for the reproduction to happen. So that's a whole complex system, I guess, that just involved, you know, suddenly, evolved suddenly out of nothing. And that's what they would have you believe, because it certainly couldn't have been piece by piece or it never would have worked and it never would have happened. The genes wouldn't have been carried to the next generation. Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard. And if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.